Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we're gonna be looking at day trading Forex. Specifically, which are the best charts to use when day trading the Forex markets or in fact any market? Uh, so whether you trade Forex, futures or stocks, what I cover here, you can um, really apply to any market. So let's get underway. So I will just uh, pull up a disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Of course, don't trade with the rent money unless you're already a profitable trader. And that's really what my sessions are all about. Now, a very, very quick advertisement. If you haven't already, please uh, download the link in the description below uh, and request a copy of my ebook, The Truth About Day Trading. On top of that, or even better, and make sure you please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're a new or even a very experienced trader, come and join me as a member. For $197, you receive my 15 plus day trading, swing trading strategies, step-by-step -step instructions. There are dozens of PowerPoints, handouts, free indicators, etc. I'm not gonna make this a great big long sell traders. Visit my website and see for yourself. And for this month, we also have a bonus that you can attend my private group coaching sessions. That is, I run eight live two-hour sessions every month, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if the hours don't suit you, or even if they do and you are able to attend, I also record the sessions so you can watch them at any later stage. I've got around 200 traders that attend my coaching sessions each and every week. End of ad, let's get into this. So let's just talk about getting started. Now, I bring this up regularly, uh, whether I'm running a Forex, a futures or a stock market seminar, on the basis that I wanna really get you dreaming. I wanna get you to really set goals, what you want to achieve as a trader. It's so important, traders, that you have a compelling future. So let's just say very quickly, and, and when we get to the charts, you'll also see where this comes to play. Because what is important here, that you see the power of just three or four trades a day. Now, let's just say you start off with $1,000 in your account. I always say, particularly for a new trader, allow a buffer. That is, when you first start, you're gonna push some wrong buttons, make a couple of trading mistakes, etc. So let's just say, realistically, you're trading with $800. The maximum we ever risk, ever, ever, is 2%, which is $16. So that's 16 pips, uh, uh, or I should say 16 $1 pips on a mini contract. Now, what's a sensible target? What's your goal? Well, let's just say 20 to 80 mini pips a day. And we do that um, uh, in anywhere from two to 10 trades a day. And once again, I'm gonna show you this on a number of charts how you'll achieve this. Now, let's just say you go for 30 mini, pip, mini pips a day, which is $30. So that's just three net trades a day of 10 mini pips. And as you're about to see, this means financial security for life. This is important because when you when the when the why is big enough traders the how will appear let me say that again when the why is big enough the how will appear so what this spreadsheet and you actually get this spreadsheet as a member uh, so let's just say the contract value you're going to trade one contract valued at and let's just say you're allowing $800 and this means also this calculation, you're allowing no more than 2% risk, no more than 2%. And say here that you've got a daily target of $30 net, that's after losses and after the spread. What this shows us over here, after you, or every time I should say, you earn an extra 800, so down here, you're up to 1600, you now start trading two contracts, okay, two minis. Now you earn another 800, you're now up to three, you're now up to four, you're now up to five, six, etc. Within, over here, within 27 weeks, you've got the potential of earning around $11,000 a week, risking no more than 2%. Now, what if say you choose to trade, say the Australian dollar, trading the uh, futures, uh, currency contracts, 
Okay, now, if you're going to trade the Australian dollar uh, futures currency contracts, and we won't get into those in this session, but let's just say here, uh, easily your target there is um, $60 a day is a realistic, very realistic target. We can see here, we're up to that 10,000 week within 29 weeks. And we're just being very conservative here. Now, going back to our $800, Whoops, let me just get this in for you. Let's just say here, you decide to put the hours in because that's what it really takes because we're only after the best of the best trades. And I'll show you quickly some of those and we'll cover the, uh, what they are in a, another session. We'll spend a lot more time on it, I should say. Let's just say you go for just 50 a day. We can see over here, we are up to $800 account, $800 per contract. You go for five 10 mini pip trades a day net. You're up to your 10,000 a week within 15 weeks. That's right, only 15 weeks. Now the time will pass anyway. That 15 weeks will fly. I would say though, you're waiting, unless you're trading during say the London session, if you're like I'm down under in Australia and when we go to the charts, you'll see here, there's probably been three or four really good high quality 10 pip trades so far today. And that's over, uh, what's that over, six hours. So when you hit the London session, you'll get a lot more quality trades leading into the New York session. But anyway, it's important you have a target because when you've got that target, and you know you can achieve financial independence for life. There's some really good reasons for getting it right from day one. So what are some of our chart options? Of course, there are many charts, there's point and figures, there's other charts that I don't have here. But some of the most common ones when it comes to trading Forex, futures or stocks are time-based charts. Uh, if you're day trading, you might have a one minute. Uh, we've got a member up in Canada, he trades a 30 second three minute, uh, what do you then do? Nine minutes and 15 minute. So a, a time-based, and we'll have a quick look at those. Uh, you've got tick-based charts where candles are formed within a specific number of ticks. That works on a specific number of trades irrespective of how many contracts that may be within that trade. Uh, Unfortunately, with Forex, you don't have volume like you've got on many others, uh, say on the futures or stock trading. So normally you'd actually see a volume chart I'd have displayed. Now, two of my very favorites are Range and Renko. We've got a great strategy. We call it the rule of two with range charts. And, uh, uh, and then we've got Renko and we're gonna be really looking at these also. Candles are formed within a specific price range. They really smooth out price action and make it a lot easier to trade. Then we've got Heikinashi, which is getting a real following. And that's where Heiken, where, where really candles, uh, Heikinashi candles of the average of two trading days or two periods, whatever time period you're working on. Then we've got heart charts, which is really quite unique. Heart candles are a unique combination of Renko and Heikinashi. And not many people know about them, but many, many members love them and trade with them. So what we can see just here, on the left here, I've got a Renko chart. And we can see it's nice and smooth. And you'll see it when we go to the live charts much better in a moment. We've got then range, which is very similar, very, very similar to a Renko. Then we've got tick charts. And then we've got time-based charts. Now, I'm not a huge fan of time-based charts. I might use them for a top-down approach looking at what is the higher time frame doing. And the reason being, I have a saying, that is big candles are evil because I like to put my stops under uh, the closest swing low or swing high. Now, on time-based charts, we tend to find that some of these candles can be really large, particularly once you get up to a three, a five, or maybe a 10 minute. And so you've got a much larger account requirement. If you want to stay, say, within that 2% rule of 16 pips or $16, if you've got an $800 account and you're big traders, if you break the rules, okay, you're going to blow your account. All right, I just want to say that. But if you stay within that 2% rule, 
which is $16 uh, or 16 minis in this case. Or if you've got, say, an $8,000 account, you stay within 16 pips, okay, it, you, you need a, a sizable account, okay, and these big candles can make it difficult. Then we've got the HAR charts. Now, HA are actually a better, in my opinion, than Heiken Ashi, because if you look at this one here, I've got a tick, Heiken Ashi and HA all set up for similar uh, time frames. The HA and the Heiken Ashi are exactly the same. And we can see there the orange turn, so it gets us in earlier and it keeps us in longer. See how you had sort of a, an exit signal just here, which is just there. And here is the tick. Now, I still love tick and tick charts can be very valuable when you're trading with Renko charts because um, Renko is beautiful as we'll see for smoothing out price action like HA. Uh, and, but what it means is in a really strong trend, you can miss some re-entries where tick charts will get you back in. So traders, let's go to the charts and have a look at some examples here. Now, let's get started with this one. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the Euro Dollar USD. So uh, we're live, live account here, and this is a one minute chart. Uh, now, one thing I will mention here, traders, on, on here, I'm using, I use the TradeStation platform. You can't trade directly off your platform now uh, with TradeStation. Okay, uh, you've got to open up uh, a Forex account with a Forex broker. TradeStation is no longer a Forex broker. So uh, if you use TradeStation, you'd use TradeStation for your charting, uh, but you then need to open up, of course, an account with a Forex broker to do that and you'd execute on their uh, DOM, on their platform. So this is one minute. Now this is not so bad when you've got a one minute chart because the candles are smaller. But then what I've got here is a one, a three and a nine. Now the multiples that I use are very deliberate and any members that are watching this, you'll know what it means and why we use the multiples that we use. So when we're trading a volume chart, which we can't on this particular market, but say on other markets, a tick, a time-based chart, we use a different multiple than say when you use Renko or range. Okay, it's very important you look at that because the type of charts that we use will have a huge impact on your day trading. Because in the end, what you want to do is maximize the chance of success. And Dick Diamond in his great book, The Business of Trading says, unless it's an 80% trade, he's not interested in the trade itself. That is, he looks at the trade and say, have I got a four out of five chance of making this win? And there are ways that we do that. So this is our time-based chart. Let's now have a look at range. So this is a range chart and you can see, hopefully you can see, this is much smoother than the time-based chart. Now this little white paint bar here, it's called the scalper. I call it the super scalper I've had coded. We've got this for MT4. We've got it for basically a version for MT4. Whoops, sorry about that. I've got um, emails popping up here, just one sec, let me just get rid of my emails. Should have didn't think of that before I started this. Now, what was I just saying? Um, oh, that's right, the indicators. Okay, so I've got a version for MT4 for, for uh, Think or Swim. Uh, we've got a, a perfect one for uh, Ninja Trader also for TradeStation and all of my indicators are included, so I don't charge for that. But I will say if you're using uh, MT4, there is a third party vendor. I don't know him and I don't get any kickback at all, but for $50, you can buy an excellent plugin for MT4, which will allow you to display range and Renko exactly the same as mine. So where you see my range and Renko charts for, it's around 50 US dollars. You can get this plugin, a lifetime license, and many of my clients um, use it because a lot of the free versions of Renko or range for uh, MT4 are just not all that great. So it doesn't 
cost very much if you like to get the right version. Now, let's look at Renko. This is one of my favorites, Renko charts. A Renko chart, and this is a one pip Renko. Okay, so if you're trading the big contract, every one of these movements is one pip. Now remember, how many a day are we after? Well, of course, we ideally would like to be netting greater than three 10 pip trades a day. And so there are things we can do to maximize um, the moves. But anyway, this video, getting back to this, is about the chart types. Now, if one pip is too fast for you, simply increase the time frame. So what I've got here, and you may notice traders that I've got three charts. You can easily get away with two. In time, you'll also love having a third chart. So what we've got here is what we call an entry chart, an anchor chart one, and an anchor chart two. Rule number one, we only trade in the direction of our anchor chart one and two. So if you were just using the anchor chart two, let me just uh, get this here when it decides to come back here. Here we go. If you're only trading with two charts, okay, you, you're only executing trades in the direction of your anchor chart one. Okay, and you may notice that uh, there are certain patterns here, a beautiful little double top. Okay, this is what we call a T7. Down here, you've got a pivot bounce, and this is one beautiful thing about Forex trading. Note that there, that's the S1 down here. This is a midline pivot, the 50% pivot between the floor pivot or the main pivot and the S1, which is support one. Okay, notice here is support here, beautiful divergence trade. Look at this here, and this is what we call a 2D. Now, when you first start trading, you want to trade with the trend, master that, and you start to take these 2D trades. Okay, and in the end, they're very easy to recognize. Here, it makes it very high probability. Why? You've got divergence, you've got divergence, and a pivot bounce. Up here, you've got a floor pivot bounce. Little divergence there, but what I want you to notice is over here on your anchor chart, note now, you now have divergence on your anchor chart one, and you've got real good divergence on your entry chart. And bang, look at your 10 pip plus move. 10 pip plus move. Now, Renko, you can see, is very, very smooth. Now, as the day goes on, so we are during the Globex session, you might increase your time frame to a three, um, to a two or three pip. And accordingly, we then increase the time frame on our anchor chart one. Uh, now, this is for day trading. Of course, the same patterns, that is, all the patterns are fractal in nature. What you see on a one pip like this will appear on a 50 pip or a one hour chart. And when you start to recognize that, it's just amazing. So back to the charts. Let's now have a look at a tick chart. So what we're looking at here is a 55 tick, 144 and 377. Anything you can notice about those values, they are all Fibonacci values. Now, I have now about Eight or I think it's about 9,000 members. And I, over the years, I've been doing this now for 27 years. Over the years, I've had many debates about the power of Fibonacci with or without it. Now, if you traded this using a 50, a 150, and a 450, or even a 400, it wouldn't make any difference, I believe. However, because so many of my members love fib, fib numbers, I usually will put fib numbers up as well. Now, if we look at our moves here, this is the open of the session today. Okay, so um, uh, so it is Monday afternoon down under. So this is Sunday night in the USA. And so the market comes down, we've got a beautiful little 34B here, lovely little divergence trade. Well, remember earlier I said I like to refer to uh, uh, tick charts when I'm using my Renko, and the reason is with Renko, sometimes you get a really solid move, and yet you'll get some beautiful slingshot trades or other entries with 
the tick charts. So tick are great. They work beautifully and many traders love those. Uh, uh, but once again, and perhaps I haven't really stated this yet, that my number one today is Renko. In fact, I've actually registered the name Renko Revolution because I feel and my members, and I've got, uh, as I mentioned, around 200 odd members in my live classes every week. And by far the majority of traders that join me and uh, over 80% of my members are actually experienced traders that have either bought my courses or attend my, my live coaching. And they nearly all convert over to Renko once they see how to use Renko and the combination of Renko and tick charts. Now, there's one other I want to show you before we finish this video, and this is the HA charts. Now, with the HA, if you become a member, by the way, they've got a video on how to set these up. It's rather unique. It's a combination of Heikinashi and Renko candles. That's what you're seeing here, a combination. Now, what it does, the whole thing here with heart charts, as with Heikinashi and Renko, they smooth out price action. Now, what I've got here is once again, we call it the EC, the entry chart. We've got the anchor chart one and anchor chart two over here. And so obviously the principle is, well, maybe not obviously, is to trade when we're orange, overall, we're looking for shorts. Now what I've got there is a beautiful little double top with divergence here. Now here with the MACD I use, I've only got a coded for TradeStation, but I give you, now this doesn't work these figures here because this is what we call a zero lag, but I give you the formula what to use on a standard MACD to model mine exactly. So you can still use a standard MACD, right? But I'm looking for more than just a double top. I wanna see some divergence. And once again, we can see a beautiful double top there and a pivot bounce, a pivot bounce down here. And the principle is to stay in until you get that reversal. Now you can do a very, you can do a very similar thing with Renko, with range, etc. Now we're after, and as you can see here today, we would have romped in, uh, or maybe you can't see that, but with the euro dollar here, there's three 10 pip moves so far today. There's, I think there's four on the Australian dollar. So we've got a few more on the Aussie dollar. Uh, but there's one other thing I, I wanna show you, which is uh, really important. Oh, and look, while I'm on this one too, this is Ha, and here's two different versions of Haikanashi. There's lots of, different types of indicators you can buy. And, and let me say traders, save your money for your trading account. Because if it's out there, I've probably already invested in it. I have hundreds of indicators I've purchased over the years or had coded, okay? Hundreds of them, as you can see here. So if there's something out there that's absolutely outstanding, I'll tell you about it. But just about every indicator that I've invested in or coded over years, I come back to the stock standard indicators. And as Gan famously said, there's nothing new under the sun. Be very careful of someone that tells you that they manufacture antiques, okay? There's no such thing. But they're, you know, nearly every great indicator has been around for years. But I do wanna show you this now, where is it? If I got the eight by eight, sorry, there's a little technique. Jake Bernstein, you may have heard of Jake Bernstein. He's been in the business now for uh, over 50 years. Have I got an eight by eight? So I just wanna see if, oh, here we go. I've got, here's the eight by eight. Jake Bernstein has a con, he doesn't actually call it, I think he calls it uh, the eight close open. That is for picking up the runners. How do we pick up these? Okay, so if we're looking at here, the Australian dollar, now this is actually the currency futures, but if we looked at the uh, the, the uh, currency market, the Forex market, it'd be almost exactly the same move. Now, note this here. This is a very, very simple setup that you can set up and you're not gonna exit until you get a pinching of the indicators down here or over here. And if you wanna get the big runners, you enter on your entry chart and you exit using 
your anchor chart one. Okay, and that keeps you in some of these. If we look at this here, that would have kept you in. Let me see. Oh, you're pretty much from there. So you would have almost got the same move here using what I call the eight by eight. Very easy to set up, but very, very effective for picking up your runners. But once again, if you look at this here, how smooth this chart is using the Renko. Uh, now what I've just pulled up here, I just thought you'd be interested also, is we're looking at the pound uh, Aussie dollar here. Great British, British pound, Australian dollar. And we've got Renko. And so Renko is just a beautiful chart to trade as well. Uh, can be a little choppier, but you can smooth some of this out by using the 8 by 8 and there's some other tools that we use. We've got what we call an ATR or a parabolic SAR, which is available basically in any trading platform today. In picking up these runners and just keeping you in some of these trades, you can use the parabolic or the ATR or some of these other indicators uh, on keeping, keeping you in with these runners if you like. And so what you can see here, traders, is that there's, um, uh, there's five pips uh, on the pound there in this move here. Now that is what we call a 2B, this particular one. Your highest quality trades are 2Bs. And I think this is very, very important. Because I teach over 15 strategies, uh, there's strategies for range bound markets, for trending, for change of trend, et cetera, et cetera, breakouts, traders, you, there's, you only ever focus on two setups, the 34B and the 2B, both are very closely related, basically they're brother and sister and they're both trend following. You want to make trading as stressful as possible, particularly early in your career. And you do that by trading with a trend, okay? Become a trend trader, it will change your life. Then you can start to trade these. Now, if we look at this movement here, we've got a high, high on price. I've got a bounce at the R1 at the pivot, which we spend a lot of time on, uh, on pivot trading. And uh, you look over here, you've got a small amount here of um, uh, divergence here on the pound just there on the anchor chart one. This is your, your entry chart, anchor chart one, and no divergence on your anchor chart two. Now, we always wanna know what's the trend bias on our charts. We can see here on the anchor chart two, we've been in a downtrend. We're starting to level out here now, going by the, and what we always do, of course, is expand the chart. Okay, now I will point out, this is Sunday night open. So you generally find, and London opens up in three hours, so you'll find you'll be a little choppy in that time. Okay, so that's, that's one thing you've got to take into account is time of day. Our target usually, when we have one of these, this is called a 2D, our target will be here, our cyan line. Okay, our 89, that's our target down there. Now we might get a pivot bounce at the midline. Remember, our midline pivot is the 50% level. Now many floor pivots don't display the midline pivot, but traders, it's very important. See that there? Time and time again. In fact, it was a full-time professional trader working at a Chicago that put me onto these, a member, around five or six years ago. And in all my 20 plus years of being in the business, I'd never really heard about midlines. And um, uh, now I just wouldn't trade without them. Once again, traders, I'm looking, see this short here? I mentioned I'm looking for, for a bounce. We'll either bounce here, get a bounce off here, or we'll come down to our 89 to 200, okay? Now we might bounce here. See, um, with pivots, they're about the only true leading indicator because they're based on the open, high, low and close. And when it comes to pivots, there are many different types of pivots. And pivots become almost what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders trade them. And I use the standard floor pivots uh, and actually, I, these ones here I use are from a third party, but most clients just use the standard floor pivots. Uh, uh, and it's very easy just to 
drop in a 50% line. All you do is take a Fibonacci tool, draw it from there to there, and drop in a line at the start of each day. So if you don't have an indicator or a floor pivot indicator that'll plot the midlines, just draw a Fibonacci level from your floor pivot or your pivot up to your R1, put a little thin horizontal line in, so it'll take you three minutes to set your chart up on each market, it doesn't take long at all. Now here's this bounce. Now, so we've got a bit of a bounce here and if we look at this here, we can see that we're getting a bit of a turn here. Notice here our EMAs, we're starting to sort of head up. Okay, see that there? Now to bounce on a pivot, and what I didn't say a complete saying, is that what was once resistance then becomes support. What was once resistance then becomes support. So we'll see what happens. Because what we can see here right now is our long-term stochastic is starting to come down. So you, we may get a, what we call a ka trade or a money on the floor trade here as well. Anyway, uh, so just as we finish, so this is really um, in summary traders. What are the charts that I really recommend? I really recommend you strongly consider running with Renko and Tick as a day trader. If you already say use range, uh, by all means, range is outstanding. And many of the traders, if any of my old traders are watching this video, you know that um, going back, what is it now, 12, 13 years ago when I was trading just Forex full time, uh, all we used was really was range and time-based charts just for trend direction. But back then, TradeStation didn't have the Renko with the tails. It's a custom Renko. And so that is the reason we used range. Then a couple of years, well actually it's probably about five years ago now, TradeStation brought in the custom Renko where we could see the tails. And that's important for placing your stops. Uh, if you're used to trading time-based charts and you love time-based charts and wish to stay with them, stay with them. And what I say to all new members, when you become a member, and as many of my traders are already successful, I say to them, as you trade, look at what I teach you and say, what Ray teaches, how can I use it to improve what I'm already doing? Now, if you're a brand new trader, you take and do <laughs> and follow my directions because starting with the 34B and the 2B, which are trend following, you are trading pullbacks and retracements back in the direction of the higher time frame. And when you're using a tick chart or a Renko, it gives you very precise entry points. So with that, I'll wrap this video up. In the next one, we're going to be talking more about uh, trade entries, etc. Uh, traders, uh, please uh, like my <laughs> video, like the, um, or, or um, what is it? Uh, so subscribe to my channel. Even better still, visit my website. Traders, this is a $10,000 plus program for $197. For $197, you get my entire program plus a month of coaching. Uh, I'll see you in one of my classes, hopefully, or you'll see me on the next video. Thank you, traders. Mm -hmm.